So with some of the uh, more brittle plastics, like your PVCs, your acrylics, there's a phenomenon known as breakout. When you're milling and your cutter is pushing material out past the outside edge, there's a fracturing that can happen. You can get a chip happening along your edge or on an exit hole when you're drilling. You can literally have that material explode at the bottom and end up with fractured edges. I'm going to try to illustrate that here with this piece of PVC. That sounded really crunchy. So, I think we struck gold. Yep. So you can see here where the, the cutter was sweeping this way and pushing the material out into space past this wall. It's not supported at that point. So you get this fracturing happening along here. There's a nice big chunk, a bunch of chips. And then at the end here, this piece was unsupported and it just literally pushed that right off. The idea is that you know that the properties of your material are either prone to breakout or not prone to breakout and you fix your work accordingly. In some cases if you were forced to cut and push out against an unsupported edge you can put a piece of material against there to support it, a sacrificial piece that you'll actually cut into and the same goes for this side, you could do that. The other thing you can do is literally slow down upon exit. So you could, you know, go full speed along here. Once you get towards the edge, go slow down to a creep and just ease out of there. Now you'll note that at the entry edge, there's no problem. So in other situations, you can cut part way, come out, come around, and come in from the other direction. So what we're doing here is trying to recreate the aggressive cutting conditions that we just did in the last segment that illustrated breakout. Now, all we've done different is we've put a piece of supporting material against the one edge that we broke out. And we are climb milling versus conventional milling, which does make the forces a little bit different. But you can see what we've done there. Now I'm going to open this up and there we are. You can see that we cut the piece off here that was a shoulder remaining and we cut a shoulder into this piece and by supporting this back edge with this piece we were able to achieve a nice non broke out shoulder. Now the similar uh, application for this is drilling. If we were to drill, and as you can see this piece has been drilled a lot, we can put a piece underneath the part and when we drill through into an area that has no hole, it's supported in very much the same manner as this was just now.